today I get some power tools out. Things get a bit sticky while I'm fitting the solar panel. And I try to give myself a Brazilian. Now then, and welcome to the video. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to all you likers, watchers and subscribers. For without you, well, I'd just be witching on to myself really, wouldn't I? And I'd also like to thank all you commenters. My finger is generally on the men, they say. Um, I'm on antibiotics and hopefully this time we've cured it. I've just got a quick mention for next Monday. We're hopefully doing the engine room chat and that's with a life full of meaning, uh, Chili Jam Jeff and Dave from Narrowboat Changing Pace. I shall put the link in the description box below. I will hope you'll join us there and if you have any questions stick them in the comment box. If you've got out to say any questions or suggestions for what we can do in future videos why not stick them in the comment box wherever YouTube's put it this week and I'll do my very best to get back to you. On today's video we're going to be looking at me making a hash of doing the roof on Laura. We decided she needed a lick of paint but the paint was peeling and it had been painted over so many times we thought it'll be a good idea to take it back to the bare metal. Well I got all my tools out and I cracked on with it so I'll be having a look at that today. We'll also be looking at how I fitted the solar panel and asking the question does it work? Well without further ado Let's have a look at where we went. And here we have the pointy screwdriver pencil. Now, this drawing's a bit crude, but that finger doesn't let me do anything at the moment really well, so that's the best you're going to get. These little circles here are there to represent the vents that are in the roof. Um, there's the back deck, there's the well deck, and as it says there, this is the roof. And funnily enough, this is the area that we're going to work in. We're going to strip off a large section there of the paint and put on some red oxide primer. And then after that, we're going to fit a solar panel. I forgot to include the arch there, actually. Mm. Anyway, that's by the by. Let's crack on. A lot of the tools you're going to see here are all been pinched so I miss them quite a lot especially that transformer uh, but these are the things we're using today and I'll list them all out um, on the screen um, I was going to do it in a fancy way you know but then I just ended up wanging them all on top of the slidey hatch bit just like that First things first, let's get some of that sunscreen on. I've got delicate skin, you know, being of the ginger persuasion. Well, more of a butterscotch chardonnay nowadays. Well, we're all ready to start. I'm not sure what that purple line is down the camera lens there, but anyway, we'll live with it this time. Uh, I've got my earmuffs on. I'm using my buff, one of those neckerchief things that, as a dust mask. I'm outside, so there's plenty of air flowing around. And a dust mask is pretty useless on me because I've got a full beard. What I should do really is fast forward this bit and um, we'll see just how far we get. Yeah, even at 20 times the speed. I'm already getting bored. Yeah, it's only been 10 minutes or so and 
as you can see it's only a tiny patch and that sanding pad is already had its day time for a new one let's see how far we get with the next one well after another 10 minutes or so it doesn't look like we've got so far and I think it's time for plan B what I've done is I've changed the sanding disc for a wire cut brush um, it's a lot stronger that one and should tear off the paint the only problem I've got with that is I'll have to go over again and sand it afterwards because the wire brush tends to burnish the metal and when it's burnished, well it's polished really um, the paint doesn't stick to it very well and it'll just flake and peel off with a bit of weather let's see how this one goes eh? speed this up a bit it might not be any quicker for me but it'll be much quicker for you to watch I've swapped direction now. We'll see if that makes it any quicker. I doubt it. After a while, it can get pretty boring doing that job and you start to lose a bit of faith, a bit of heart and a bit of concentration. And when you lose that concentration, bad things can happen <laughs> that sounded like a good rendition of the funky gibbon uh, given there by Debbie anyway after that disaster we had to have a bit of a settle down and a chat just to calm our nerves before we cracked on again. Oh. That grounder, it doesn't sound very happy, but it's been stolen since this video was made. So I hope whoever bought it, yeah, well it lets them down fairly quickly. Well, it wasn't much longer after that, maybe 10 minutes or so, and mourning the loss of my best going out work trousers, I decided to sweep off the roof and give her a coat of red oxide primer. There wasn't a right lot of rust underneath all that paint, only two little bits where it had peeled back over time. So here I am trying to get the lid off the damn tin of paint. Success! Let's lather on that paint. So after a couple of hours and a knackered pair of shorts I managed to get a couple of foot of the roof stripped down to bare metal. With having all the tools pinched I'm now having to rethink how I'm going to do it and I'm probably just going to rub down the whole roof as a, uh, as a wanna leaving all as much paint on as I can and just where there's areas that are bare metal or in the past they've been um, scraped off. I'm going to feather them into the roof and with a bit of luck we'll hopefully get away with that for this winter anyway. I'll have a rethink in the summer next year and maybe get one of them scabblers but they're a bit a few hundred quid so I'll have to save some pennies first. 
<laughs> Next job on the list is fitting that there solar panel. Let's get a bit of measuring up done. And uh, while we're doing that, That's they'll be scraping a bit of the old flaky paint off the roof. That's lovely. Nice Now, if my mum's watching, that's not me smoking, that's a pencil in my mouth. Uh, you had to use both my hands, so that's the only place I can put it, because when I stick it behind me here, it gets lost in my air. I'm just marking up the holes that need drilling for the uh, stands and with a pencil there and I'm going to drill them out, tap them and then I can put in the supplied fixings. Thank you very much. Here's Debbie, my glamorous assistant, handing me over the tools I need to drill the holes. I'm using a tap, um, well drill, tap and die set um, that I got from um, Lidl I think it was, one of their cheap ones. Um, I have bought a proper set of uh, tap and die set but um, unfortunately I can't find it so I thought well I'll buy that and use that. Five millimeters. And here we go, we're going to do one thing that we never like doing with narrow bolts and that's drilling holes in the roof. Turning back now. Just getting rid of the, the tools to make the threads in the holes that I've just drilled. I need a, a screwdriver as well, me pointy screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. Whenever you're doing anything that requires you to either drill holes in roofs or especially metal ones, um, what you'll need to do is make sure you clean up after yourself because if you leave any little bit of shards of metal, you tend to rust straight into the paint and eat the way through. And you look a right mess and dead hard to get rid of. See, if I had a picture on it, I'd have done loads of steps now. <laughs> And it's just not showing. One point screwdriver. Thank you very much, Ray. It's a bit now. Just going to drop a bit of oil in the holes there Thank so you. it makes it easier for the um, tap to go through into the metal. And then I'll get the tap and I'll put it in the hole and I'll start winding it on. And then when it gets a bit tight, I'll then wind it out again and then wind it back on again. And you keep doing this until you're right through. Makes it a lot easier though when you pick the right size tap first time. So that's for this one. Who's making what? No, that's the oven on. Does it smell nice? Yeah. 
Beautiful. It's like a glove. glove. There we go. Just another four or five hey, more of them to that? do. I, there's something. He sounds happy in his work. Any rod. Um, I'm going to clean the area up before I put any of the um, sicker flex on. So I don't want um, any contaminants under there that mean it doesn't stick well. So nice clean off, bit of blue roll on there, and then we can apply the sealant. Oh, it's beautiful. Dreaming. Oh. Clacker Works is here now, checking I've done everything right. Finger. Have you degreased? I have. It's now as have we you speak. dried? It's now as we speak. Just dry now. Ready! Right, let's get some goop on. And plenty of it. So we've got plenty of goop on there and we're now going to put the fixings in, tighten them up and that should um, squeeze any of the access sealant into any gaps that might well be there. Quick nip up with an Allen key and we're done. I'm going to measure out now for where the next upstand is going to be and I'll repeat the process exactly as I did with the first one. She's in position, all fitted. Um, it's a bit faffy to get the uh, panel on, and it seems a bit flimsy, but they're quite robust. Um, I had to drill another roll through the roof for the wiring, but I thought, as this video is getting on a little bit, I'll save that for another time, and I'll do a bit more of a detailed um, description of what went on. The panel itself is doing fairly well at the moment and uh, it's keeping our batteries nice and topped up. We've had no engine for a few weeks, but that's another story. We have it, a bit of DIY. We've stripped a bit of the roof and painted it and we've fitted some solar panels. We're having a rethink obviously, I've said before about what we're going to do with the roof due to having my tools pinched. The solar panels in and it's hooked up to the batteries and we're getting some free power from the sun when it's out. I'd also like to take the opportunity to say a few thank yous. Uh, first of all, thanks to Steve and Ali who supplied us with a bit of the old mains electricery so I could use all my power tools. I'd also like to say a big thank you to Sunshine Solar Limited who supplied our solar stuff, the wiring the solar panel and the controller. Um, I ordered a package off them and they didn't have the solar panel in the size that I wanted so they sent me a bigger one for no extra charge. Well let them know just how it's going eh? Thanks very much. In other news I got some new bins so I can see what I'm doing now. So, what's coming up next time? Are we cruising? Are we fettling with that stupid engine? Are we doing a bit more DIY? Here's a sneaky peek. It's an absolutely lovely mooring spot, that. Oh, that looks fun. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you click that little bell icon, YouTube will my dear next time we release one. Well, 
that's everything on my list. I reckon we'll call it a draw for this one. Till next time. <laughs>